Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Love Sims here and we are back with episode two of the Bachelor Challenge Base Game Edition. So, um, it is 428 in the morning and as you can see, Damon is awake. We had a very rough night for some reason. My girls cannot use the stairs and I can't for the life of me figure out what the heck is a problem, but I spent too much time setting up this house. So we're going to, I'm going to have to just work around it. I had to literally teleport everybody and everyone teleported except for Desiree. For some reason, she would not teleport. Um, I kind of want him to go for a jog real quick and just kind of, well, I guess he won't leave the house. I guess. No, I want him to go for a jog. I want him to. Please do. I feel like it would be okay for him to go for a jog around the estate. Just him, though. They don't have that privilege. They have the gym. But he just needs to kind of think about some things. Nothing bad happened, but he's just kind of having to re, um, refocus his or recenter his focus because he got a little embarrassed yesterday. It was a little bit of a disappointment. Um, we had a bad start to the day because we started a fire. But in the meantime, he is very happy that he has seven women who will go to bat for him like that. Because like I said, not one of them ran out of the house. They all went to go over and try to extinguish him. Um and I've, I admire that about them. So today is group dates. We're just kind of getting our workout in. He is, he is an active sim, so this is very much within his character. And this is, you know, something that he does on a regular basis. Typically, he would go to the gym, but um, or he has a special place that he likes to actually go and run. But this will suffice. We are more than happy to do this. So we're going to try to do a jog, and then we'll go home and probably do some sort of um, maybe weightlifting or something like that before we head out for the date. Group dates, I'm thinking today I want it to be, um, I don't know where I want to take the girls. Maybe to the pool or something, just something light. Okay, so he's feeling much better. He's feeling flirty and ready to go. We're going to come in and have him kind of push the limits do a little bit of weightlifting while the girls are still asleep and if he has time we might even try to make them breakfast so um i think that would be really sweet of him to do just as a man you know the girls had a really late night because like i said i was having to try to teleport everybody and people were just up and sleeping on couches and benches just wherever they could find it was insane i don't know what i'm gonna do i mean everything looks like it should work i don't get it there's nothing here blocking anything there's nothing blocking the stairs up here i even put in new stairs i redid all the doors because i know this house is very old is that all you gonna do Okay, he's like, I really want to make them breakfast, so let's go do that. Let's serve breakfast. We'll do eggs and toast. Hopefully, he can cook um, and doesn't start any more fires. If I can cook, I was going to say, if I could collect that, I will do that for him, but I can't. So, as the girls kind of wake up, if they wake up before he finishes, then I will, um, yeah. First person up is Stephanie. I would like for her, because I think I'm going to probably have to teleport them down um, stairs as well. Let's check on him. I just want to make sure he doesn't start a fire. Please let the food come out good. As you can see, Desiree's over there sleeping on the couch. She's still in her purple dress, which is crazy. She's probably going to be pretty tired today, but um, it is what it is. So let's go back to Stephanie. We'll let her do what she is doing, and then we'll go ahead and get her going for the day we'll brush our teeth wash our face and all that good stuff and all of the girls are waking up now so let's go ahead and have she's hungry she's like i'm starving um 
oh, what bathroom are you going to go to, sis? Because you don't have. Yeah, okay. Whoever made this did not do the best job with um, the layout. No offense. Let's brush teeth. Everybody's hungry. Where's he at? Let's call to Mill. I mean, you didn't even call to Mill. <laughs> He's like, look, I got to. I got to get myself situated. Stephanie, come on downstairs, baby girl. All right, she's grabbing her serving. Um, Miranda will be downstairs shortly to get hers in. Let's go ahead and have him speak to Stephanie since she was the first one here. Oh, he's going on his own, okay. He wants to tell a dirty joke to someone. He wants to become energized, and he wants to buy a toy. So he's thinking about family. So let's maybe ask her about um, her love life and boast about family. Kind of just see what she thinks about it. Let her see how she feels about starting a family. Do you want kids? How many do you want? That sort of thing. Okay, let's go ahead and um, teleport Miranda. Wait. Yeah, they can't come. This is so annoying, guys. I don't know what I'm going to do. We got to figure that out. You can hear her literally fussing. Okay, let's go ahead and be friendly to Miranda. Ask her about her day. Let's have, who else is trying to get downstairs that can't? Somebody's whining and griping. Okay, so they're good. They just need to come downstairs. Let's teleport. Grab a serving. See, I can't even focus on the other girls because I'm trying to get everybody down here. Oh my gosh, he just flirted with Stephanie. Did he flirt with her? Did she flirt with him? Flirt. He is flirting. Guys, hold up, y'all. Hold up. He flirted with Stephanie. And Miranda saw it. <laughs> okay, okay. Miranda's like, hold up. Look, she didn't like that. She was like, look. I understand you trying to meet women and everything, but did you have to do that in front of me? She did not like that. She didn't say that to him, but, like, in her mind, she was just like, no, this fool did not. Um, Y'all, he is feeling flirty. He wants the woohoo. Miranda was not feeling that. She is wanting to, she's going over to talk with him. Maybe she feels like, let me make my move because this man is serious. He is not playing. I mean, he's feeling very flirty, y'all. Let's um, try to get the other girls down here. Grab your plate, sis. Uh, Stephanie's feeling good. She went to go have her a little dip in the pool. So the only person still sleeping is Desiree. Desiree, come on now. She's about to use the restroom on herself. She needs to take a shower, and she's hungry. I think I'm going to have to, I think she'll come in here and use it, so that's fine. And then we'll let her get something to eat. Okay, she's feeling kind of confident here. I'm not sure why. Um, she wants to tell an unbelievable story. So I guess we can tell one to Nazaria. Where's Nazaria at? They're kind of venturing. Let's have him speak to... Um, oh, he wants to go for a swim. <gasps> is she still out here swimming? She is. Damon, you could have spoke to, to Maribel. Hold on. Before we go, let's speak to Maribel. Let's um, ask her about her day. She looks miserable. Why are you so miserable, girl? Oh, it's one of those gloomy things. Okay. Well, he wanted to go for a swim, so I'm about to let him go. Because Lillian came to talk to Miranda. She's having one of those moments. 
he's still talking to her like he's still trying to cheer her up a little bit he's like well if you feel up to it go ahead and come and have a um a swim with us so he's getting vibes from Lillian, I believe, because it says he's sad about the evilness. Interacting with an evil sim really brings a good sim down. Such a shame that they've chosen a life of darkness. So he's definitely getting a vibe from her. Um, and I think that might be another reason why he left the uh, the room, the conversation. He has a sentiment. Hmm. From who? Good company from adoring someone nearby. Boy, who who do you have a sentiment with? <gasps> Miranda. What? Adoring. Damon just wants the best for Miranda and thinks she is so wonderful. When did this happen? Okay, it had to be when Homegirl was like feeling herself. You remember when I said, okay, she's feeling kind of confident. So I don't know what she said to him, but it made her feel very confident after she saw him flirt with um, Stephanie. So she's back. She feels like she's back in the game, y'all. All right, girl, I see you. Um, And who else? Even though he flirted with Stephanie, he doesn't quite have a sentiment with her so at about 11 i'm gonna have him get out and we're gonna go ahead and head over to our group date i think i'm gonna take the girls i haven't really decided yet let's go ahead and have him wrap this up i hope everybody is pretty much did you not eat is the food gone get you something to eat real quick because we're fixing to go so <laughs> I want to make sure everybody's kind of in a decent... Her, yo, bed was bad. What bed did you sleep on that was cheap, honey? Because none of these beds, they're all the same beds and none of them are cheap. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Oh, there's Miranda. He wants to go cry it out. No, don't cry it out. Let's talk to Miranda about it. Let's um ask for advice or like complain about problems because I feel like... Let's complain about problem. Oh, he's feeling kind of dirty, too. I assume she asked him, like, how he was feeling. And he was just like, I don't know. I'm just feeling a little off today, and I'm not sure why. I just, I don't know. I just feel a little off today. But we're going to get ready to go on this date, so hopefully that will pick things up cheer thing cheer him up a little bit i want to go to the pool everybody seems to want to swim anyway so we might do that and we might or we might go to um the museum i have not decided if he's not in a good mood though then i might hold off and we might just go to like a nightclub or something since it's getting later in the day and that might be what we do. We might kind of let him just kind of get his mood up because I want him to be, oh my gosh. I feel like he's starting to wonder if everyone's here for the right reasons because he got that vibe off of Lillian. And I think he's just kind of like, I hope this works because I'm putting my all into this. I'm, I've opened my home to these women and I'm opening my heart to love and I'm just hoping everyone's here for the right reasons. Um, hopefully homegirl did not steal anything yet. We're going to check her inventory. It doesn't say that she stole anything, but won't, will it be in her inventory if she does? I'm so confused. I'm going to try not to really, um, control the girl's relationships with one another. If they have something specific to him, then I will come over here, boo. Can you do like a... Let's do a let's do a freshen up and a psych self up as well. And if we're feeling better, then we'll go. But yeah, I'm just going to kind of check and see if they want to do anything specifically with him and if they do, then we'll kind of work on that, but if not, we won't really dwell on it too much unless, you know, oh, they're all out here talking, little girl talking everything. Where's Lillian? Okay, she's swimming. I'm keeping my eye on her, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just feel like I have to. Someone's coming in the house. I don't know who it is. He looks nice. So because he's feeling kind of... Okay, he's good. He's feeling flirty. He's still feeling 
kind of having some moments, but it's going it's going away. The psyching himself up is working. He's like, no, nah, everybody's here for the right reasons. It's, you just tripping. If you, eh, we'll weed him out. True colors will show. So now he's feeling confident and he's feeling, um, let's brush our teeth to add to the affair, to the effects. My bad, I'm talking about affair. Um, he's feeling confident. He's feeling pretty good. So we're going to get ready to head on out. I'll see you guys as soon as we get to our destination. Okay, guys, we're back. So, um, I just wanted to make mention of this little moodlet that Damon just got. The girls were at our destination, but um, we're going to do the whole nightclub thing, but we're going to kind of wait and just chill out until it gets, you know, a little more appropriate to be going to a quote-unquote nightclub. So, while we're waiting, we're just going to kind of hang out down here. I know they just ate, but for some reason, some of them are still hungry. So, I'm going to go ahead and have Damon grill some food and they can just kind of um, chit-chat and hang out around here, eat do some fishing if they want um and just get to know one another i think they can even do some gardening if i'm not mistaken i thought i saw i thought i saw a planter box where they could actually plant stuff but maybe not they can at least fish and kind of just explore this area so i'm gonna let them do that they're just making their way over but oh before it disappears hold on let me pause it says he's feeling protective from adoring someone nearby. When Damon is around someone he adores, he wants to protect them and keep them safe. I've n I know that we just got the update, but I've never seen that since I've been playing and I've been playing for hours since the update. So that's crazy to me, but I love it because that is Damon 100%. Like he is a protector. Didn't I say that? I think I said that in the in the introduction um, episode, he's feeling psyched up, he's feeling confident, he's feeling invigorated, and he's still feeling flirtatious and sexy. So everyone's making their way over. I'm going to go ahead and have him grill up some, um, let's do some chimichurri skewers. And Miranda's the one, not Miranda, but, um, ah, I keep forgetting names. Christina is the one who's hungry. So Christina's like, let me grill up something too. This is, this is, you know, her heritage anyway. She is Hispanic and so she's all about these foods. She's just going to get some stuff going. The girls are talking. Everybody's in their outfits looking all cute and everything. I'm going to back up a little bit. Can we put the food on the table, ma'am? I guess not. Now, she's the hungry one, but she decided to put the food on the table. Again, no one's talking to him. So, up. Oh, okay, so he's going to go chat with Miranda. I guess. Um, we'll kind of see. She's Get off your phone because you ain't supposed to have a phone. No way. So, here we go. And his good vibe emotion is going up. So let's um, just kind of see how she's doing. Can we compliment her outfit? Can't do that. Let's do another get to know. I want him to, who are you talking to? He wants to chat with Desiree. Okay, we'll chat with her. Let's ask her about her day, ask about day. Yeah, because I think she likes the outdoors too. So, let's discuss local fishing spots, because she's from around here, too, so I'm pretty sure um, he would do that, and he would, let's, let's boast about family. Um, I definitely feel like he's letting her know that he grew up in these, around these swamps and these rivers and lakes, and he and his dad, he grew up fishing around here, so he's feeling pretty, pretty good. Get off your phones, people. They are driving me crazy. Let me see if anybody is wanting to do anything or say anything towards him. I love how he's going around talking to people, though. Um, I do love that, that he is engaging the conversations that he wants to. So he's kind of gravitating to who he wants to gravitate to. 
he went to go talk to someone. I think it was Stephanie. Um, but he's kind of went ahead and in, inserted himself into the group. Let's discuss world peace and see if anybody gets a little agitated. Because I feel like <laughs> on the sneaky sneak, he's kind of trying to fill him out. Because he's definitely getting vibes from Lillian. And I think we want to talk to her. Maybe kind of get to know her a little bit more. See what she's about. Because he just feels like there's something about her. So let's get to know. Oh, Miranda was going to say something. I'm sorry. You want to talk to me now? Um, like, I was just telling the girls the importance of, like, doing good. I do some charity work around here. Um, he's feeling flirty. He's feeling flirty. Me and my family. So he's just telling him about himself. You see, she ain't making eye contact. She's not listening. Okay. Stephanie's picking up. I think she's a neat sim. So, yeah, Miranda's feeling like she wants to be alone. Um, so I'm actually going to have her kind of venture. She wants to talk to Desiree now. Okay, so I love that she wants to be alone. She's feeling uncomfortable, but she's forcing herself to be present and engage in conversation. I really like that. I do think that he would sense that she is feeling kind of uncomfortable. I don't know if she's told him that she's a loner, but um, he can tell something's up. Let's, I want, while he's talking, I don't really want to change that, but he does need to use the restroom. It's 4.55. I think it's appropriate. They can just get drinks or something. So we'll have him come over here and use the restroom. And we'll let the girls kind of make their way over, over to the dance floor. Let's do dance together. Everybody can kind of just shuffle on that direction. You're going to use the restroom first, babe. Then you can um, dance. Why can't you go to the restroom? Why is everywhere I try to hold up? Y'all see this? Look at Jeffrey Landgrab in here getting down, doing the stanky leg, Jimmy leg, whatever it's called. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it does like, don't break your back, bro. <laughs> That is hilarious. Okay, 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 okay. Let me see. It says it's a unisex bathroom. So what is the problem? Um, Go here and try it again. Because he was waving like he couldn't do it. All right, so the girls are over here. They've made their way on in. Lillian is at the back. I feel like she feels the heat. She's like, man, why was he looking at me when he wanted to talk about world peace <laughs> and, and all that kind of stuff? I have no idea. Um, Nazaria, what are you doing, babe? All right. Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh, my gosh. They're getting it. <laughs> Some of them can dance, some of them cannot. Alright. I am going to have Damon come over and kind of order a round of drinks for the girls. Let's order drinks for the group. We're going to get... Let's get the Tang and Zings. No, let's do something daring. Let's go big. Order drink for a group. We're going to get the... Uh, Never mind, he already he already paid for it. Okay. So Oh, 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 what is this? What is this? Oh my gosh, they all want to come chat with him. Hold up now. And he's going to get his too. He's still talking, but he's like, hold that thought. Gotta get gotta go get this drink. I want to put the fish in here. That's a cute idea, but the fish is not there. So, 
Yeah, and Steph is going to go use the restroom. I don't know why we keep going to the bathroom to, to talk. Can we go sit over here, guys? Like, we're designated to sit? We will let Stephanie go ahead and use the restroom, though. Come on. Plenty of seating over here. There you go. Uh, Maribel, did you get your drink, honey? I don't think she got hers. And why are you over here by yourself? Okay, Nazaria. Really? I'm not even going to send her over there. If she chooses to sit there, she can sit there. But we taking notes. Him and Nazaria have not really made much of a connection so far. I'm not even going to lie. Desiree speaking to him. I don't know what she's saying, but she wants to. No, we're not woohooing. Let's see if anybody wants to do anything. Miranda's talking to him. She still wants to kind of be to herself. She's feeling very uncomfortable. She's telling an engaging story, though. She's trying, y'all. She's trying hard. Okay. Can we... Let's make a toast. Let's make a toast, because I feel like this is the perfect opportunity to do it. To you guys for being amazing, to new beginnings, to finding love, all that fun stuff. All right, Eliza, you were not invited to the party, honey. Can we do some dancing now? I want to dance again. He's like, let's go dance again. All right, let's go dance together. I do need people to take care of their needs, though. Um, some people are getting kind of stank. Nazaria is getting very smelly. People are still wanting to talk with her. He's still getting his drink on. Eliza just going to sit herself down. She's like, I don't approve of this. I'm not in, I wasn't invited to the party, so I I'm a, I'm going to be a hater. I don't approve of this at all. He's just like, was she serious though? <laughs> Let's tell a little joke or something. Uh, an inside joke. Since she's sitting right next to him, I feel like that's what he would do. Come on, I want y'all to dance. <laughs> I don't know who we're going to choose for our solo date. I feel like it should be the person with the highest relationship, honestly, just because... I just feel like that's who would be on his mind, right? But maybe he's feeling secure enough in it that he wants to, I don't know, try the person who he's not making a connection with just to kind of see if it's even worth it, you know? He needs to use the restroom again, so I guess we're not going to go dance just yet. Um, these drinks are running through them. The heck did the bartender put in them? And that's my song, too. I really wanted to go dance on that. Oh, well. Oh, some people are starting to stink. We're not going to stay out too late. I think since people are getting smelly and stuff, we definitely aren't going to stay out too late. I'm just going to check everybody's limbs one more time um, and see what's going on. Miranda's just like, I'm waiting for this night to be over. I want to be alone. It's too many people. I can't do this. I'm proud of her, though, for sticking it out and, like, being a good sport about things. Let's... I want him to pull her to the side. Let's disband the group. How do I do that? Um, disband the group. Okay, and then we're going to form another group with just... Miranda and we're gonna bring her over here down by the water uh, I guess we can go to this bench right here let's sit together 
and this way i think it's romantic because he knows it's been hard for her being around everybody and he, this is a way to kind of get her to take a breather and to give her the rose at the same time so he's like i'm so tired normally we would do this in front of the group um at least on the show they do and it does create some jealousy sometimes and some tension you better not take a nap she's sleepy too they both trying to wake up um uh, trying to go to sleep no oh this is actually kind of cute she's tired he's like miranda baby wake up <laughs> wake up sis well he wants to just let her sleep I need you to wake up, though, so we can get everybody home. Okay. He's like, uh, I know you're tired. Let me talk to you for a minute. Let's brighten her day. Um, I just wanted to say that you've been a real champ today. I know that it's not easy for you to be in big groups, and you took the initiative not only to stand out to me, but to you know inject yourself in the conversations with everyone else you were really present and i just really appreciate that i feel like i want him to give her a heartfelt compliment and then if we can can we give her yeah offer her a rose please and he wants to hug someone so we'll offer her the rose and we will offer her um a hug Guys, these Bachelor episodes are usually longer for me. Oh, how cute. Oh, did she just purr at him? Oh, okay, that was very, very sweet. Now, we better get back to the group before we have some trouble. So, they gave each other a hug, right? He's feeling good company. Appreciate being around someone they adore. I wonder what she feels about him. Excuse me. So she doesn't exactly have a sentiment to him, but he, so she, he hasn't made the same impression on her. Like she, he's made some sort of an impression, obviously, because they have a pink bar together. But like she's not really falling yet. But he's kind of smitten by her. So, um, that's really cute. I love this sentiment thing. So let's go ahead she wants to schedule a date oh my goodness all right we're gonna go ahead and send everyone home um and tomorrow is our first solo date and we're gonna take we're gonna take stephanie i think because she kind of was the first person to make an impression on him enough for him to flirt so we're gonna kind of explore that a little bit Look at the girls. They are busted, toe up, smelly, and everything. I'll see you guys back at the house. Okay, guys. We have finally made it back to the house. I figured out what the issue with the stairs is. If the person put a rail in first, like a fence going across, and then they put the stairs, typically it would create the hole, and your sims could just go through and get to where they need to. But I guess with the update, that's broken. So if there's a fence... Like, move your stairs, and if there's a fence there, delete that first, knock the floor out, put the stairs back, and it will work for you. But he's here just taking a thoughtful shower, getting ready for tomorrow, thinking about um, he's happy that Miranda accepted his rose, and he is excited about his date tomorrow with Stephanie. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let him get himself some rest, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for sticking it out with me. These episodes are always a bit longer. I remember in my first series, they were longer episodes as well. Um, but, you know, hopefully it, it's enjoyable. <laughs> you can always watch it in two parts if you need to. Just split it up. But thank you for sticking with me, you guys. If you haven't subscribed already, be sure to do so. And be sure to tap that notification bell. If you'd like to stay up to date with me and know when I'm uploading the next episode. Until then, guys. Bye.